Okay. So today's topic is a new topic. It will be interesting. The concept name here is Phoenix Cell Scripting. It will be very easy and important in every interview. Okay. So first we'll see one program and how we can register this. First program will be like this. Like let's say there's a program. Okay. This history and all forgot about it. Definitely you need to maintain history. And then one second, sorry. Okay. Uh, there are certain parameters we have to pass here. The parameters are here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Definitely you need to pass all this. After that, if you want to pass any new parameter, then dollar five onwards. See, there is a every parameter in front of that particular number, you need to pass here dollar here. So here also see dollar and flower bracket and then zero. So one, two, three, four. So first zero means first parameter is cell script name along with the path. So where you are keeping the file here. And then first one here is first parameter it will give you the Oracle apps user and password. Oracle application user is your operations welcome. And then application user ID from FND user and FND user name. Which request ID you are? For your program, what is the request ID? And then, if you want to pass any new parameter, you can go with the fifth parameter onwards only. For every concurrent program, 100 is the maximum number here. Maximum number is 100. That's a limit, we can say. But right now, only fifth parameter we are talking about. So, hardly we will pass 10 or 20. No one will pass 100 parameters. So, echo here is to print it. In Unix language, echo is for printing. Okay. okay, nothing else here. Only two points in this program. One point here is echo. Echo is like printing message. And other point here is first four parameters are required mandatory. If you want to pass any other new parameter, you have to pass a dollar five or not, dollar five, dollar six, like that. So this program we have to register first. Okay, so first let's save this in our own format. The program. Your client name, then the let's say first program is. Okay. There's a program. Every file extension here is, it will not allow DHD or some, something else. Dot, dot DOX, yes. Uh, file always it will accept here is PROZ extension. The file extension for Unix program here is PROZ. You can open in Notepad or Notepad++, whatever it is. So take this file and then we have to keep it to server here. Connect to your application server by using VNCT. Click on this and log in. Let's go two types or wherever the application server is there that we have to identify. If you look at here, this Quora AS. AS means application server. There will be another server also available. That's a database server. Right now, Oracle application server. Oracle, Vision. There are multiple file systems here. FS means file systems. FS1, EBS apps, yeah. application. Which module you are going to keep? Let's say JP module. Then bin directory here. If it is Oracle report, we have to keep it into Oracle reports. It is a reports folder. For forms, you can see some other folder. Other folders are there here, like patch, admin, log. These are all DBA people will touch all this. But in our case, like we are going with the folder here that is bin folder this. Click on bin. In this bin folder, even while practicing with the conversions also, you kept control file into bin directory only, correct? So bin directory is for not only control files, 
for cell splitting also. Let me keep this file to this particular directory. Your file name here is this one. PROC is extension mandatory. <coughs> Just drag and drop. Now, based on the date, we have to short it. If you look at ERC, read, write only. X, X also required, that's for executable. To execute this program, executable privilege is also required here. I'm just giving here 777. 777 is the number. So once you keep this particular file, we have to connect to putty here. See, there is a putty. It's a simple executable file. There's hardly like 472 KB. You click on this. I already saved the session here like this. If you load here, see, apps.1c.com is the host name. Your host name is, if you click on uh, this Internet Explorer also, you can see apps.1c.com. This is the host name here. The same host name I've given here. And then click on open. Then Apple FGR is the username password. This is the we connected to put here. After that, we have to create a soft link here. There is a soft link. I already mentioned the steps here. Let's close the notepad. So once you design this file, then you can upload this step by step. I mentioned here. Upload the dot prvz file into bin folder of respective application top and give necessary file permissions here. So file permissions. We already gave here, correct? We have to select this program and go to properties, and then after that, triple seven, we have to give here. Triple seven privileges. We go through all the steps. Step one is design this program into Notepad, and step two is upload that PROZ file, program file, Unix program file into server and give necessary file permissions. Now we went to put T. Go to putty and there is a username here, application manager, APPLMGR. So we already logged in here. So straight away you can go to CD. I'll paste this. So settings. Somewhere you can see the font appearance on the yeah. Like this. Change directory, CD, then dollar, AP, top it is. Okay. Top means here, these are all the tops. If you look at here, this is called as APPL top. Application top. Under application top, you can see all the module tops here. That's AP top, the AR top. Based on the module it is. Let's say it is FA, fixed assets, like that. There are around 280 plus modules are there. For every module, whatever you see the folder, that's called as a top. Okay. Top means what it is? It's a directory here, directory in the application server. So right now, this application top it is, under this, there are various module tops are there. Like AP top, 1200, then after that, pin directory it is. Into this only, we kept a file here. Correct? Let's go to this notepad. So right now, we went to AP top. Just enter, simply. Now, if you want to see here the present working directory, where exactly you are, uh, commands, these are all commands of Unix, PWD, present working directory. So it will give you the path where exactly you are. Okay? 
QR into Oracle application server, Oracle vision, whatever you connected here, the entire path you can see here. So it is a command oriented and this is a GUI based. It's clearly visible where exactly you are in. But here, it's a command oriented. Both are same only, correct? Purpose is same. But here it is a GUI based with ACP. And in this case, put it is a command oriented. Still we are under the 1200 only. But we have to go to build directory also, correct? There is another point mentioned in this, that is CD bin. Here itself we can keep here AP top slash bin. Now what we can do CD bin. Change directory. So you have to remember all this expansion of all this Phoenix commands, PWD, and then CD, change directory, present working directory. Correct? So again, if you want to check where exactly you are in PWD, this is the way we can connect to this particular directory. I'll just decrease the font size once again. It's okay. If you want to change color also, you can do it. Change settings. See that. Somewhere you can see to change the color of this background, and you can see the manage right now. So, right now you are in, in this bin directory. Now, what you have to do, we have to create a soft link here. So to create a soft link, this is a syntax ln hyphen s. It's a case sense too. We have to type here ln hyphen s and then dollar append it up bin append cp esr. So, these are all standard syntaxes. Here and this is your program, uh, and it's your file name. So, whatever you kept here in the bin directory, this particular file without extension, we have to give you. Okay, so the syntax you need to definitely remember. So we have to type here in the footy that is ln iPhone small s and dollar fnd top slash. FND CPESR. Okay. FND CPESR is the which, which will convert and will create a soft link for your program. It is. It is bin also directly I am mentioning. Okay. Side arrow we can use to type it. FND CPESR. Okay. Once you know this syntax, then you can copy paste also. I'm just copying here. Provide some syntax issues. In here. Right click and paste it. And your program name. So this is our program name. Extension not required here. Right. But it will not give you any message which is successful or not. This syntax. But here you can identify that there are short formatters. Refresh it. You can see somewhere. Similar to this. Can you see that there is a shortcut? This shortcut. Your program is here, PROG file. But here shortcut is created. If it is created shortcut means it has successfully created the soft link. Sometimes you may see error also here. Right now there are no error files. You can see red color here, here itself. So that means your syntax is not executed properly. And this is also created here. 
if your system is having some trouble, like then it will create a software here with the error error mark, red mark it is. Right now it is not needed. So this is the soft thing is created. Okay. Now next we have to register this program as a concurrent program. This is the next step. Create a concurrent program. There's two more steps here. To create a concurrent program, there are certain steps we have to follow. Steps you can see somewhere. These are all the steps. Regular, like how you restart your concurrent program. The first step here is executable. And the navigation here is concurrent program executable. And you have to access into a responsibility that is system administrator. Where are the Zoom on a where ID on the other. ID. So as we discussed, like we have to go to system administrator and then to create an executable, concurrent program executable it is. Now create executable name, system administrator, concurrent program and then executable. So for Phoenix program, straight away you have to select one method here, that is post. For PROZ files, you have to take a post here. Then file name, which you moved already. So this is the file name from here. Extension again here not required. Executable name, file name only will keep. It will be easy for us to track it. And the module name here is page. Same. All same only. Now, the next year is, second point here is, that is concurrent program. Concurrent program definition we have to give here. You can just go to concurrent program definition. Sort name, then you are module We have to go to parameters. The first parameter of your program here is we go up here. This is all we should not mention at all. Your soft link will create, it will check automatically. Okay. It will take care of all these parameters. Now, fifth parameter here is we can set that is own parameter. Your own parameter it is dollar five. I'm mentioning here, let's say, better name. Your value set. Let's say I'm giving here the value set it is. It's 240 characters and it's a mandatory parameter. So the checkbox we have to check here is required. Let's say if you want to populate a default value for your parameter, there are certain default types. Let's say the type here is constant. Constant then here is let's say T E plastics. Save. Now, take this program. The next one here is what it is.
Next, we have to attach to request group. This is the third step here. Request group navigation here is security responsibility request. I think this you already done in RDF, XML, correct? Same steps only. Parameter I already gave as a vendor name. So sequence is one year, but as for our Unix host program, the parameter is fifth only. $5. $5 is 543 to maintain an order we can use. Now take this program. Request group navigation is here. Security responsibility and then request group name for payables. Do you know that? All the course and payables. Definitely have to do this. So now next last point here is you need to go to if you don't know the request group name, you can go to security responsibility defined. So we already attached your request group here. So straight away, you can go to your responsibility and you, you, you can submit this. So this is the way we can register a Unix related concurrent program with this. It's very easy. Submit. Another request, no. Check the vlog here. So these are all the parameters. But as I mentioned in the file, just come here. First, this cell script name along with the path. Okay. So this one here. Cell script name along with the path it is. So this is the cell script name along with the path name this path so we only kept this particular file into your bin directory correct now next parameter is what it is oracle apps username and password this sequence is mandatory guys to explain in interview so you all remember now only oracle apps username and password so how are you connected to Unix here while entering Oracle application? It's application username. Okay. Apps and apps it is. And application user ID of your Oracle apps. So in FND user, we can see. That is 1318. Application username. Operations user. These are all the information we can see into one single table. Is friendly user where user name is equal to your user that is operations. So, what is the user ID here? 1318. Can you just check whether it is correct or not in output? 1318. Your system only deriving this, and username is as I mentioned operations. Your fourth one here is request ID. Request ID of your program, you can see this one. Seven double five nine double two three. Is that correctly printing? And your fifth parameter, what you passed here? Whatever you passed, it is printed here. Okay. So overall, zero one two three four are the standard parameters. These are all happening because of your soft link here. This is a syntax of software. So we'll, I'll revise again. The first step here is what it is. We need to prepare a program. So in the program, echo, which is used to print into output. And then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are all the standard parameters. It will be taken care by your Unix itself. If you want to pass any parameter, custom parameter, then dollar pi or notes you have to pass. Okay. And the file extension of this is we have to take that is dot proz is the file extension. And once you make ready this file, we have to move it to server into one directory that is bin directory. Okay. 
then this is the second step third step is what it is go to putti here again okay, i'm opening putti double click on this select you have to load if you don't know what is our host name and all you click on load here you can see app chat policy dot com open username password is application manager ptta ngr is the font again and settings appearance change here password is ptta ngr so once you log into this particular putty then you have to go to this particular directory wherever you kept your file if you kept your file in inventory then you have to give your change directory dollar inv top you have to write like this based on the module right now i kept into ap module that is ap top if you wanted to go to bin directory again cd bin to check all this where exactly you are in that is pwd and tell me the syntax ln softening creation hyphen s then dollar foundation top it is fnd top like ap here fnd also on top it is fnd top slash pin slash fnd concurrent program cp esr esr syntax you have to remember then program name so once you prepare a soft link here then go to application and follow certain steps here one is executable concurrent program attached to a request to one submit from a responsible just hardly four steps it is clear so if you are okay then i will take another example now so that is this program we discussed file for file copying we'll see same similar fashion it is just copy this if you don't want to print into log there is a slash here so this is a commented portion whatever you are keeping here these are all commented so if it is a sql then usually we'll type like this correct for commented section but in this case it is hash hash is a commented area your program will not touch that portion but still it will be there in that first here just locking this waiting okay i do it create disturbance every time so it looks lengthy but it's very easy okay the first one here is come from here onwards you are passing one data file name okay dollar 5 onwards only is so 1 2 3 4 we already discussed source directory where is your file located that is called as a source directory and the target directory where you want to keep so this is just simply copy how your concurrent program will copy the file at run time usually in the interfaces conversions and all your system must be automatically copy the files manual intervention is not required so at that time like this script is required for file copying only overall three custom parameters one is file name another one is source directory then target directory clear now echo is for what it is for printing only for our understanding only see because of echo only we printed all this okay due to echo only we are able to see all this history clear just a log information it is so first echo arguments your file name how we are passing is dollar in earlier case in earlier example we passed as a numbers right here 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that but you can take name also okay that is a name 
data file name, source directory, target directory, like that. So by using echo, we are printing all the parameters which you are going to pass. So later we have to see the history, correct? The rest of the parameters, this in the previous program we already discussed. And this is a PWD, present working directory, but I commented here. If you want, you can keep like this. Okay. Then to copy a file from source directory to target directory, we have to use CP here. CP is for copying. So this syntax you have to follow dollar your parameter slash and your another parameter slash one more parameter. Same order you have to follow source directory, file name, target directory. Then this is where actually if condition required, if dollar question mark. So dollar question mark, what it will do is whether the previous program is success or not. Sometimes you may miss flower bracket or sometimes you may give wrong data file name or wrong target directory like that. If your previous statement, this one previous statement is this one. If it is wrong, then at that time we have to maintain here. So dollar question mark, it will take the result of previous statement. If it is not equal to hyphen NE means it is not equal to zero. Then echo entered into exception. If it is not equal to zero, then definitely there is an error. Okay, if it is other than zero, then that is good only. Exit one year. So we are exiting from this particular program. So I mentioned here clearly, exit one represent concurrent program status. So one for error. Here, if you keep year two, then that will be warning only. And instead of one, if you keep zero, then your program will be, even if it is exception also, it has to complete a normal only. So you are indicating to your program while exiting, whether it should end with here, end with warning at SRS window or error. Or if it is completed normal, if you want to end, then which command we have to use here, exit and zero. If you want to term it as a completed warning, like this, completed warning, then we have to use exit, then two it is. Just only three values. One for error, two for warning, and zero for success. Clear? Then else, echo file successfully copied from source destination, and exit, zero. Zero means what it is? Success. And if condition is started somewhere here, in Unix, actually, the keywords will be reverse. If it, if it is for starting, and fi is for ending, ending it. Start and end. So this portion is just to check the file is copied properly or not. If file is copied properly, then which command we have to use zero. If something goes wrong, then exit it is one. That's it. Compared to previous program, what additional things you have seen in this? One is CP syntax, another one is this one. Dollar question mark. Any means what it is, not equal, not equal to the, everything I mentioned here, see, minus any represent, hyphen, it's called as a hyphen, hyphen represents not equal to. If you just go through all this, like in this paper also you can understand, okay? So your file is ready now. Same steps you have to follow, like how earlier you followed. First step is what it is? You need to keep the file into this particular directory. Here, copy this file. So I'm not changing anything. You better follow your own naming standards. Where is the file? We have something is difficult. This one, correct? Copy. Take this file. After copying immediately, I told you to set a privileges that is read write privilege that is triple seven. Manually also you can select all this.
So once you move this file, the next step is put T out to connect. Every time you are going to connect all this. Like I already connected it. Right? Simply ln hyphen s dollar append it up bin append c p s r and program it. That's it. If you give a right click, it will be out. It will be pasted out of it. Enter. Okay. Just verify your shot cut is created or not. Check. The just before created or old old file it is old only. So it is not created, correct? Is there a difference in fact ones? So check line by line. It's already exist. ITM copy. If you try to create again and again, it will give you a soft link or simple link. Both are same it is. It's clearly saying it is there already. Replace again. It's there. Up here we have not checked properly. Okay. Now third step here is go to executable. And first, first we have to change it to. Otherwise, you will take by default Oracle reports. So you may miss it. Post. Next step. If you have a doubt, we go through this steps clearly mentioned in this PPT. Okay. Execute after executable next is concurrent program. Clear program. How many parameters we have in this? After four. After four, how many parameters? Let's check here. See, dollar five, six, seven. These are all the parameters. Follow the sequence. Data file name first. We no need to put five, six, seven sequence here. Sequence is just to maintain order. Value set. Two forty characters only. We have to take. Required. Sixth one it is. Yes. So from where to where you are copying files? Very simple topic. Target directory. Make all mandatory parameters by using the checkbox that is required. If you want to hide parameters of SRS with you can use this display. If you uncheck it, then user will not be able to see that. So I'm unchecking right now. How it will be hidden? Again, I have to come back here. Okay. Check this program. Next appearance attached to your request group. It is so 
See, only two parameters it is showing. The other parameter which we unchecked that will not appear over here. Correct? Go back and enable again. We have to make sure hidden or checked out or unchecked. So which file name you'd like to move, uh, uh, make a copy? Let's say this one, okay. any file. Let's say a record .csv along with the extension. Otherwise, you not be able to identify. This is a file name. I just took a random file, okay? And source directories, right now, where is your file available? This one. Target directory, where you want to keep this? That's one level above, somewhere here you have to keep. This directory. The bin, it is there here, it is a source, and without bin, that is a destination, target directory. Your system programmatically is moving a file from one directory to other directory. Completed normal. We cannot see anything in this. So through echo, we can print into a view log only. This click on view log. Just check the history here. First arguments. Your file name. Whatever you have given in the output. I mean input here. Yeah, this one. So it's there here. Source directory, you only given this view details if you click here. That's it. Source directory, target directory, and all other standard parameters and request ID. And there is a message here copying the file from source directory to and file successfully copied. These are all where you exactly you mentioned you mentioned into this lock button here. So that is because of echo. Okay, echo is which is used to print into log. Clear? And check if file is copied or not. Refresh. Your file is there. So your file is there here as well as into bin also. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's file copy only, not moving. So for moving, we can use mv command instead of cv. Okay. Instead of CP, CP is for cop copy and MV is for moving. So, as of now, how many Unix commands we typed in this class? One is PWD and then FI, then echo, CP, MV, codex, exit command, CD correct, CD change directly. These are all we'll use regularly. Some more comments will be added in the next example. Clear? Now we'll see the next example. That is SQL LDR, SQL loader. In supplier conversion, you already practiced, correct? You kept one file into bin directory as a CTL file, then registered as a program everything. So here also same through. Through Unix program, how you load the data into staging table. This is a third example. So, till now, any doubts? It's easy on here. Not easy. No doubts are not easy. No for what? Third example, we'll see. Compared to cycles, all all topics are easy only. Cycles are little confusing things. 
and in the initial phase you may not understand all this now what is the cycle you can easily do it in 10 minutes correct and not even 10 minutes early also we can do third example it is if you observe with the previous example yes see your oracle application username and password application user id these are all we can get automatically see there is a standard keywords are there if you keep dollar in front of it it will give you automatically there is a difference here correct your soft link created earlier correct dollar user id dollar aol means application object library aol user and this is fcp request id so till here till request id we no need to touch much it will take care automatically so control file we have to copy so we have to mention here and data file for control file data file is required to load and archiving archiving is moving so once you load that files the files we should not keep into that particular directory we have to keep it and load into other directories that's called as a archiving okay archiving means moving files from one directory to other directory the data file name it is here i mentioned data file path but here it is data file name just recall okay don't get confused in the supplier conversion the first class supplier conversion we talked only how to load the data into staging tables right file to staging only one section we covered correct you are csv file csv file you loaded into into staging table correct so staging table name where you kept in which file correct control file this so definitely we have to pass here control file as a input it is and but not only control file we have to give here a csv file that's called as a data file but data file where it is located system how it will identify at run time that's called as a data file path so after loading what you have to do you should not keep the file into same directory okay we have to keep somewhere that's called as a yes archive or actually how to spell it so archive path okay so overall four parameters you have to pass so by using this what you are going to do you are loading the csv file data into staging table earlier we have loaded manually in supplier conversion but here we are loading through host program so suddenly the file will come in the midnight so who will be there in front of the system your system will take that file automatically and it will load it so these are these are all called as a batch jobs this terminology will be useful to you batch jobs batch jobs this these are all scheduled programs okay so are you okay with this example 3 so let's go okay first one Echoing means displaying. Okay. First CD I did manually here because I'm in front of laptop in in the putty. Okay. But so in the script itself we have to mention that is called as a CD dollar AP top and bin. Okay. First whatever you are passing the parameter or path it must be exists. If something goes wrong. Then it has to print. Exit one means what will be the status, guys? Error or warning? Error. Warning or normal? You have to see. It's little confusing. That's why I'm questioning. Very good. This is why you have to remember. Okay. So. Dollar or iPhone D means directory. It is so we are talking about directory. Correct here. Yeah? 
this these are all called as the directories the directory file path which you are passing it must be seen here if not equal exclamation symbol it is iphone d dollar path then data path does not exist if it is not equal the path which you are passing that is not correct then immediately it will go as a warning it is warning or error error, error. okay and else the path is good only that's called as a validated if fi till here it is just to validate one parameter that is data file path and if i want to validate control file name or data file name archive path there are three three more f conditions required so just see check now if not equal iphone d dollar archive file path then archive path does not exist and exit one it is same archive directory is validated so for directory we have to use d for file we have to use it is f okay so one more if condition this is for control file validation sometimes you may give wrongly also right that's why it has to check system has to check now the next one is file name data file is missing so what are four if conditions so can you tell me what are four two directories two files correct so two directories what are there one is data file path archive file path and next is data file name control file name overall four okay now to execute sql loader earlier how you did you went to application then you went to like submit your request and all right but here through command prompt we are doing that is called as a sql ldr sql ldr is the shortcut to initiate a sql loader program from packet we can say so that is user id is dollar overall login and control is we are giving here file name now here there is a case command in sql also case is there do you know that case functionality case decode have you heard about it no case decode case is like if there is logic if dollar red coding zero success same only we are again case is like if there is logic so we are multiple ifs right here yeah, see one if is for one and other if is for zero like that we start maintaining multiple if conditions to simplify the code what we have to do we have to use the command that is case case is expression it's not even function it's an expression case dollar red code in zero red code is what it is written code it is i bit to say here we are getting one code right here this one red code that's for request id if red code is equal to echo dollar question mark dollar question mark purpose i already discussed what is the use of dollar question mark yes previous syntax not program so previous syntax whether it is correct or not it will handle so if red code the value written code if you get zero then that successful one is so so four two is like warning and three is for fatal error so unknown error it is we are not able to track so star means it is unknown written code okay fatal error we will get it but here unknown means simply it will straight away print print as a unknown written code it is and case we started here and then to end it we can use is it is a reverse keyword all fi if for fi like that so till here is just two cases for comparison okay and to move it earlier i said, I said right instead of cp we have to use mm -hmm. mv command mm -hmm. we are moving somewhere the program is also over the steps are same like earlier okay again i'll open the device i think it looks confusion right for you
one time i'll show you the overall file and then we'll go for registration okay the first thing we have to remember here is we are immediately connecting through putty by using not manually guys remember automatic your system will connect automatically so first cd change directory then there are four parameters we have to validate two directories directories we can see as a d and then files we can notify as a f so two directories two files we are validating and the syntax here is sql ldr username password the result of previous statement whether it is success or not by using dollar question mark we can get and its values we mentioned in the form of case and finally we'll move we'll not keep that particular file into the same directory we'll move it here also if red code is not equal equal to 3 and equal to 1 then exit 1 if you get 1 as a failure and 3 as a fatal error then definitely we have to make it as a exit one it is one is means what it is it's a failure like that otherwise we have to make it as a exit is zero zero for normal only. so third, this is the third example with this example we can load the data into staging table or any other tables so first see the control file we mentioned here control file Syntax, you know, right? Load data in file, these are all correct. Let's see this table whether it is having any data. Doesn't have any data. And what else we require? Control file. Control file is done, sorry. CSV file. This is a CSV file. It's already having some data. Open with Excel. Some data is right, some data is wrong. Okay. So I don't know the big thing. At least one line I would like to know. Okay. Now, what next? First is go to Putty. Okay. File is ready and we haven't moved, right? As of now, move the file. Make sure this file is there in the pin directory. I, I move this input file as well as control file. These two files, triple seven. If you don't mention as a triple seven, it will give error. It will not be able to identify the file, it will not be accessible. Take this program. Soft link creation is required. Just up arrow, change the name. Everything is there here. If you are working with a single module, no worry. Make sure the soft link is created or not. If it is not created, then your program will fail.
screen. Once you refresh it, you will be able to see, okay? Two steps over, now third is race tracing. Let's go there. Can we go like this? These four parameters. Okay. All two forty characters only. Required. Do not forget this. You don't check. The system will fill it as an optional parameter. Again, it will be error. Two forty carries there as well as characters. Okay. Now let's go to the control side. Control file name. Is it correct? Did we move this? No, right? We missed this file that here. See, uh, do not forget the extension, okay? CTL, data file path. Where is your data in this moment? An archive file path. See, this we made is an option, but definitely you have to pass this. Bin I am not taking. Data file name, CSV file. It's not correct, along with the extension. Any confusion in this? I think you know already because the description is also mentioned with this. Submit. Okay. We log. Check all the parameters and its descriptions. Your file is also validated. Executing the load process, everything is done. Commit reached on how many records loaded. Let's see the table. Earlier it, it is not ha having data. Now the data is loaded. Okay. So the system is loaded the data by using a post program. Clear? If you already practice supply conversion, it will be easy to understand. So all three examples, one sample example I given and one more is copy, another one is SQL loaded. There are a few more here. Concurrent program submission. If you want to submit any program, 
from enix there is a funk sub utility is there funk sub this we'll see in the next time okay this we have to give all the application username password concurrent program name parameter name arg id very easy only syntax you have to follow funk sub better copy paste only the syntaxes this we can practice on your own also fourth example so hope you understood the session for us little interesting right in its i'll take another class after 15 minutes is that okay are you are done for today in listening 2 pm also okay you guys 2 to 2:30 no sleeping time stay in two two classes this will be tomorrow i will serve us all now okay make your job important one hour ka pro 3 o'clock at least three class will be there already 2 to 3 okay na already dragon bro so the plan okay na after 10 minutes टू टू थ्री ओके ना अंदर जाइए लगा मैं लास्ट जाकर दूँ आस्तुल करते रहोगे यार ना इधर वाला नहीं सुनोगे टू टू थ्री ओके पर एवरी वन ओके प्लीज कम शार्प बिकॉज़ अगेन थ्री ओके लगे आवे क्लास राइट वील चेंज द टॉपिक मैं भी एक्सेमल एक्सेमल पब्लिशर विल टेक दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक राइट Thank you. <laughs>